Hey everybody, this is KP with KP Hobbies, and today we're going to be setting up our Weber rotisserie and pizza oven combo as a rotisserie, and we are going to be doing a pork butt roast bone in. We will see how it turns out. I will get back to you once I get everything set up for the queue. Okay, I've got this big old chunk of meat on there. We're going to pull it open right now and see how it looks while it's on the barbecue. Wonderful. So I've got essentially your two charcoal baskets in the indirect zone. Got some of my homemade barbecue rub put on there. If anybody's interested, let me know. I can uh, go ahead and jot the recipe down in my description. I'm going to put this lid back on. I'm going to add some wood and we will come back to you in about a couple hours potentially and uh, see how everything's going. For the wood, I'm using just some apple chips and just some hickory chunks. I'm not putting too much on there. This is going to be a long cook, so I don't want it to get overly smoky. Just figured I'd uh, let you see my setup one more time once I have my actual smoking wood in. One thing I would like to talk about is I've definitely never tried to put a pork butt on a rotisserie, let alone a bone-in pork butt or pork shoulder, whatever you want to call it. Sometimes they call it different things. Most of the time it's the same. So I did truss it. So I used some butcher's twine to hold it together. Um, I did use a little bit of mustard as a binder before I put the seasoning down. And I'm trying to shoot for right around 275 to 300. I'm not sure if I can get that into focus. There we go. So I'm, I'm getting close to the temperature that I want it at. Okay, checking back in right now. We're a little bit over 275 still. She's been running a little bit warm. This is only my second rotisserie cook in this, so I put a little bit too much coals in again. However, we will take a look at this piece of pork roast. Oh yes, it is looking fantastic. It's only been about an hour and a half and boy, it's looking good. Definitely self-basting, holding together well. Well, I think we were going to have a winner here. So I'll check back with you a little later on again, and we'll see what it looks like further on. All right, we're at the three-hour mark. We're looking at about 250 degrees still. I'm getting ready to open this up and see if we need to add any more coal and what the actual bark or crust is looking like on the pork shoulder roast. Oh yes, this is looking, I know I said it once before, but this is looking amazing. Okay, I'm going to add some more coal and we'll check back in just a second. I think I'm going to temp it and see what we're at. All right, I just got some coal put back on there and a little bit more wood. I've been taking that chunk of wood on and off. All right, I got the rotisserie shut off for just one second. And let's see, it's uh, it was 55 degrees outside when I started. <laughs> and let's see this temp here. So we're at about 154. We're about ready to hit that stall if we haven't already. I'm going to go ahead and close this back up and let it go. I'm not going to wrap this or boat this or anything like that. I'm going to just let it go on the rotisserie this whole entire time that I have it cooking. It's kind of an experiment. We're going to see how it turns out. All right, four hours in and this thing's a beauty. we got some beautiful crackling fat and skin. Everything's looking great. Still haven't decided whether I want to try to do this into pulled pork or just end up cutting some steaks out of it, but probably going to see if I can get it to go to that pulled pork status as a rotisserie. It could be an epic fail or it could be the best pork shoulder I've ever cooked. We will find out. Okay, still riding at 250 degrees. We've been on for almost five hours. 
I just temp this and we are at like 185, 190 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm getting ready to pull it off soon. So once I get this thing rested up, we will see whether we can actually shred this pork or if we're going to be slicing it up. I think either way it is going to be delicious. Stay tuned. I know my mouth's watering. I don't know about y'all. All right, everybody, just getting ready to pull this off of the barbecue. We're at almost a little hard to see. My light is fading. We're at about 195 degrees right now. We're going to get her pulled off of here and we are going to dive into this thing in a bit. Okay, we got this thing pulled off. It is just glistening. I'm going to get the spit pulled out of here and I have to let it rest. Unfortunately, I can't wait. Well, I have to say it turned out wonderful. There was a nice layer of smoke that was imparted into the meat. It wasn't too salty. It was tender and juicy. There wasn't any issue with it being cooked on the rotisserie the way that it was. I got some great shredded pork right here. I tried to take some of the lighter side of the pork and slice it. I was able to do so. Uh, I must say it's a must try. If you have never tried to do a pork shoulder roast or pork butt roast, whatever you want to call it, on the rotisserie, you got to give it a shot. You won't be disappointed. Until next time, happy cooking.